Hi there, I'm Stacy, the encaustic mixed media artist behind Studio Stacy. Encaustic literally means to burn in. So I paint with beeswax and a torch, and because it's mixed media, pretty much anything else I can get my hands on. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Consider subscribing and joining this artsy community. Don't forget, hit that thumbs up button, which helps me get introduced to more like-minded artsy folks like yourself. Good morning, all. It is a Saturday and I am in the studio, which I'm um, not in the barn this Saturday for a change. Um, anyway, I'm gonna try to get a couple things done in here. Um, it is a mess though, so first I have to clean it up. I'm probably gonna clean it up while I turn the wax on. The things I want to do in here today have to do with the 100 day project. So I don't know how much I'm going to film for that um, using this camera. I'm going to do a lot of filming on my phone and you'll probably, I'm guessing, have seen those videos by the time this one comes out. But um, next week's going to be a crazy week. I've got a few things going on in the pole barn at the beginning of the week. And then at towards the middle and end of the week, I have a bunch of doctor appointments um, actually back in Ohio. So um, we'll be traveling back to those just, you know, yearly appointments with the, you know, all the various doctors that I have for the autoimmune stuff. So i um, not expecting anything crazy out of those, but it's why I'm in the studio today. And so I thought I would just pick you up and kind of bring you along on this fun little Saturday studio time. So um, let's get the wax turned on and this place cleaned up. Okay, that seems a bit better. Um, I still have a griddle that needs to get cleaned off, but my plan is to just get going on the 100 day project here. And I'll probably um, maybe come back in here for a couple hours on Monday and try to clean that griddle off and do a few other things. Um, I don't normally try to work too far ahead on this 100 day project. Um, However, because next week is kind of all over the place and I'm not sure how much time I'm going to get in here, if I'm going to get in here too much at all, that's why I'm in here on a Saturday trying to get one of the 100 day paintings done. And then I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to come back in here late Monday afternoon and do maybe two more. Um, and then that will kind of get me ready for next week. So. Um, at any rate, I probably am going to, I don't know if I'll just put you on time lapse, just kind of from a distance on this calendar I work on the 100 day project or what I'll do, but I'm going to get going on that now. All right, I changed my mind about putting that you on time lapse. I might still do that, but I wanted to flip the camera around and explain something because the nice thing about these YouTube videos, at least I think the nice thing is 
they're longer than the two minute or the minute that you have in Instagram or the two minute shorts that you have here on YouTube, these longer format ones. And so I just wanted to take maybe a little bit of time to explain what I'm doing here. Maybe you might find it helpful and or interesting. Hopefully you do. <laughs> okay, so here's the reference photo. Now it's not gonna look exactly like this, but you know, this is somewhat what I'm going for. And you can tell I'm working with a square piece of matte board versus a larger a rectangular photograph. So what I've done is I've traced out on just on tracing paper, this sour wood. And now I can kind of lay it over here and see where I think I might want to place this. And then that will also give me a good idea where this like horizon kind of line is. So um, I just thought I'd explain that. I thought maybe that would be helpful to some of you. Sometimes tracing paper can be um, your best friend as an artist, whether you embed it into the wax later or you're just using it for reference. Um, it's a great way to um, use the tracing paper. And I know I'm not the only artist that does this and I certainly did not invent this process. I know a lot of artists that use it um, like they're sketching things out in their sketchbook and then they're taking and tracing over those sketches and transferring them onto a um, drawing. So, you know, there's lots of ways to use this tracing paper method, but um, I just thought in case you hadn't heard of it before, I would share it and hopefully you found it somewhat helpful. So anyways, getting back to this painting now. Also thought I would share that if you are interested in making videos whether they're for Instagram or YouTube or wherever really the only thing you need is your iPhone um, you don't need anything expensive and um, I'll flip the camera around and show you my tripod which is currently a spray bottle so here's the setup for my camera right now literally just leaning up against a, a spray bottle. Now for the overhead shots with my phone, I use this bendy arm thing and it has a clamp at the end that twists down and clamps to my work table. This was also, again, not very expensive at all. I know they make a lot fancier um, things to put your your phone on with a light and all of that stuff. I started with this thing. I have this thing, so I'm just continuing to use this thing. Um, if I can find it, if it's still available, I'll put a link down below in the description box for it. Like I said, it was super inexpensive. I think it was for like initially like a bedside table reading thing on your phone. Um, I got it eons ago now but um it's inexpensive and it works just fine all right all i think this is where i'm going to leave you let me show you this quick little painting here sorry <laughs> i had to sneak behind you there it is the sourwood tree i hope you kind of enjoyed this little sneak peek behind the scenes of these little 100 day paintings. Um, if you want to see more, I'm happy to kind of just set you up in the background while I paint these. I don't know if it's interesting to you or not. Um, I always try to pick up the camera if I think that there's something worthwhile to um, say or a little tidbit to give you. Um, so hopefully it was helpful and um, en entertaining maybe at the least. At any rate, I'm going to let you go here and uh, maybe I'll pick you up next week. I have no idea what it's going to look like, so um, stay tuned. Hi there. It has been about a week 
and a half since I've last been in the studio and picked up this camera. A lot of craziness has happened um, and I got the wax turned on in here so I thought I would just chat with you real quick before I got started with stuff in the studio today. Um, it seems like we have run into a lot of uh, walls this past couple weeks or rather last week and a half. And if you can hear the very noisy birds outside, I think spring is here and um, it's lovely and beautiful, but um, they're a little noisy. <laughs> At any rate, um, made it to the doctor's appointments back in Ohio. That all went um, fairly well as expected. Um, and then we got the fireplace installed in the pole barn area. So that was super exciting. So all of that stuff seemed to go fairly smoothly. And really the stuff, the walls that we've been hitting, some of them really aren't that big of a deal. It's just more of a nuisance than anything. I have, um, I think I've counted 13 trees that I still need to get photographs of, which is kind of crazy and um, do more research on, but I'm really enjoying the process and um, I'm very lucky to have a, a local kind of tree guy down here that I can kind of send him pictures because the apps on my phone aren't always accurate and he's much more of an expert, especially this time of year. It's really hard to distinguish trees when there's no leaves on them right now. So, um, but I am really enjoying figuring out if I think I know what this tree is. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong, but luckily he can set me straight. So at any rate, um, I need to work on more 100 day projects today and I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna film here. I'm gonna try to film some stuff for you. I also wanted to show you that I cleaned out one of these map drawers and there I have housed all of the little trees that I have done. And this is the latest one. So I guess I am on actually number 11. And I have a lot of blue in these, but I think today I'm going to put more blue in. Um, just seems like the greens go with the blues. <laughs> so going to be another blue background today, I believe. So I think what I'm going to do is probably just put you on time lapse while I work on this 100 day painting. Um, <clears throat> and I just wanted to say that I am not... Um, or while I'm still not completely sold on a social media for artists and specifically Instagram for artists, this 100 day project has really been a lot of fun. Um, specifically, it kind of forces me to get outside um, because I'm trying to take a bunch of pictures, do some more research and um, things like that on the trees and I am learning so so much and loving it um, so while I'm it it may not be enjoyable to post to social media I am loving that this hundred day project saying kind of yes to it forced me to then 
um, do these paintings and, and get outside and do this tree research. It was something I was really wanting to do and I was just putting it off while I was working on the, you know, these big, huge paintings and saying yes to the 100 day project in turn, you know, just made these tiny little mini paintings come to fruition. So I am very happy with that, happy with the decision that I made to go forward with the 100 day project. So just thought I'd share all of that with you. All right, one more painting is done. Time to put it in the drawer here with the rest of them. And as you can see, I still have quite a bit of blue. That one is a bit brighter, however. I decided to start one more of the tree series backgrounds on the little mini map boards. And so I thought I would give you a little sneak peek behind the scenes little tip for this particular one. Okay, so this one, the background, I put a piece of, um, I printed out a piece of tissue paper and then embedded the tissue paper into the map board, which you've seen me do before with um, a metal spoon and the heat gun. I just, you know, rub over it. But my tip is, the tip is to wrap the edges of the map board. You cut the tissue paper slightly bigger than the mat board, just by basically the thickness of the mat board. So maybe a 16th inch bigger, maybe an eighth. And then you take the hot metal spoon or whatever you have and push that into the edges. Obviously you want to make sure that the edges have the encaustic wax on them before you do that. But then the edges are wrapped and the tissue paper is also wrapped around it. And then I go back and I put on a layer of encaustic medium on the edges so that it's all completely sealed in and there's no chance of it coming off of the edges. So there's my little tip for um, this particular little painting. The 100 day series is coming along nicely and it seems like this video is all about behind the scenes of the 100 day project, but hopefully that was helpful for some of you if you're printing on tissue paper and using tissue paper to make the image slightly bigger than the panel you're putting on or the mat board that you're putting it on. And then you can just blend the edges down the sides and everything, you know, there's no chance of that tissue paper then coming up, especially after you put a coat of encaustic medium back over it again. So anyways, there's the tip for the day. I also wanted to say if you're an encaustic artist and have any tips, tricks, anything that works really well for you or any surface that you work on that works really well, leave them down below in the comments. I'm always happy to hear them. I love getting information from other artists and it's always um, these little tiny things that, you know, they kind of, they're tips that you can use and apply in your own art or perhaps you're an artist or a, a crafts person in a totally different media and maybe you have a tip that could also imply to encaustic. So definitely let me know down there below in the comments and feel free to comment back to each other's um, posts and things like that. I love it when people chime in and answer questions and comment if they have any tips or tricks or um, unique services that they like to work on. It's always very helpful, I think. I think I'm going to leave you here for now. Um, I don't know exactly what I've recorded for this video. Hopefully it's entertaining and knowledgeable and, you know, all the good stuff. So you picked up a few tips on the 100 day project, perhaps. But um, anyways, I do appreciate you guys following along. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really, truly does help me out. Don't forget, if you have any tips or tricks, leave them down below there in the comment section. And again, I'm going to go dodge some raindrops, run over to the pole barn. But thank you so very, very, very much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.